Hello there, my name's David Allen, I'm Good and Geeky, and today I'm going to look at two applications, LogSeq and Craft. Both of them are excellent applications for using with personal knowledge management to make yourself an external brain, if you will. And the thing with uh, LogSeq is that it's free at the moment, and the Craft you pay a subscription for, and they both have similar, similar sort of um, ideas of using it as a wiki to make links between one document and another. With LogSeq, you do get that graph sort of thing where you can see where all the links have been made and everything. And with LogSeq as well, you get loads and loads of plugins making it much more functional. There's loads more things you can do with it. And you know what? I'm kind of conflicted about which one I like the most because they're both brilliant. Um, craft, it's it's lovely, it's beautiful, it's it's a Mac application. LogSeq is a, an Electron application, so maybe that's going to be a, a downer for a lot of people because Electron applications is just another layer on top of your your operating system. Whereas um, Craft, it just it just simply works and looks brilliant while it's doing it. Which one do you like the best? So here we are. I've got the two applications loaded up onto the screen here and the craft is over on the left hand side and LogSeq is on the right. Now we're on this side over here, on the craft side we've got a cover image. This is kind of nice because you can make your um, pages look nice by having a cover image at the top there. And if you're a visual learner then it's good to have a cover images because it helps you sort of recognise the pages and sort of makes it sort of all more sort of visual as it were. So this one hasn't got a cover image in there but I'll put a cover image in there if I want to. So I'll just go to this one here, choose a cover image. I can drag and drop pictures in there or what I can do is I can insert, or insert a file from here or I can choose an image from Unsplash. So choose something there that's kind of good, so let's put that one in there. Also this one here as well, when looking at the uh, way that this looks is that if you want to have all of your documents looking better you can go for a background and put that colour in there. So for instance maybe you have all your coding stuff with a blue background. You can choose your colours over here if you want to. So let's put a lighter colour in there for instance. You can have um, gradients in there as well. We can have it uh, a faded colour. So there's your gradient, it fades down to the bottom there. And if we want to, we can put images in the background as well. So let's um, have a look and see what we've got here. Cover in. We've got presets up here. So if I choose one of the presets, so maybe I want to have um, all of the stuff that I've done with um, projects that we're working at, uh, working out how to do CSS, I can maybe put that in the background. That's the thing that I love about Craft. It's just beautiful, it looks great. You can also choose whether you want to show the title in there as well. So I'm getting rid of the title if you don't need it. If it's just you working, you don't really need to put the author in there. So I never put the author in there. You can go for a wide page or a not wide page. Basically, that's uh, just going to um, show more of the background, whether you want it uh, background or not. I generally go for a wide page. Uh, we can even blur that image at the background if you want to. But um, if you put an image at the background and it looks nice, why blur it? So this one here is where you can choose your stuff here. So if I want to have, uh, say, this one here, I want to make that a title instead of a heading, just click on that there, or it could be a subtitle. Also, what you can do with this here is you can use your markdown. If I put a hashtag at the start of that one there and then space, that makes that into a title. If I want to make it into a level three header, I can put another one of these in there. So that's now a level three header. So you have to, what you have to do with those is that you have to put in your uh, hashtags and then press the enter key and it turns it into your, uh, the level that you want it to be. That's kind of nice. Uh, another way of doing this is to use the forward slash. So put a forward slash in here and I can choose what uh, style I want in there. So for instance, if I go to text style, I'm using the arrow keys now. So that was down arrow to get there. Then go to this one here. I can choose whether I want it to be a subtitle, body, strong, whatever else in there. That's kind of good. I can have it as a caption as well if I want to. So using the forward slash there is a way to uh, make changes in your stuff there. Meanwhile, over in LogSeq, I can put in uh, today's date or time. So if I want uh, yesterday in the reference, that puts in a link to the page. And as you saw in this one here underneath, this is the uh, journal from yesterday. Nothing in there at the moment, but now I've got a link to it as well. So that's kind of cool. You can do links to pages to dates in here as well. So for instance, if I want to do a forward slash here and put a date in there. So I can do uh, forward slash and then start writing the word today or yesterday. So I've got the same thing going as I had over in um, LogSeq. And then I've got a link into yesterday. Uh, if I click on that there, you can see these are the notes I made from yesterday. The thing that makes me go towards craft at the moment is the fact that I've got synchronization. I can jump into the iPad or iPhone and I can get straight into my data just by sort of um, doing it. Everything just syncs automatically without having to think about it. Over with LogSeq, 
you can get synchronization happening but you have to kind of at the moment if you want to do it it's best to do it through git and um, if i go to this one over here for instance i go to settings you see there's a thing on here version control enable git auto commit so every uh, 599 seconds what this does is sends the um, whatever's changed up into git and then if i go onto my ios device i've got some shortcuts set up so that i can download whatever's been changed from git and the uh, repository and then i can open up the uh, application and see all my data there it works but it's a bit sort of messy to be quite, to be quite honest and sometimes i like it and sometimes i don't so if I put in a uh, forward slash and then start writing to do, that's going to get, make a to do item for me. Command key, I can change it from to do to doing by just tapping on it when I've got the command key pressed. And then if I want to say that it's been done, just clicking that there and it puts that as been done. You've got to do's on this one over here as well. So let's put a to do in there. To do list. So there's my to do, to -do list in there and uh, that'll just keep going. And with this one here, you've just got your thing here where we, if it's done, you just put your, to, your done thing in there and, wait, and it's done. So back over in logs again, let's go and have a look at what else we can do in there. Huge number of plugins. So I've put in a block calendar here. I've got a Logsig find and replace plugin. Uh, I've got a heat map. So this one shows me how many journal blocks were created that day. I haven't used that much. You've got your bullet threading. This shows you a bit better linking between your... Um, your uh, levels of tabbing down through uh, your um, information there. I've got a focus mode in there. I've got tags, uh, log six smart blocks. Some of these I use a bit and some of these I don't use so much. You can connect this up with uh, log six Anki. That's kind of nice. That's something else you can do with uh, log six, which you can't do with craft. You can do it where you see all your flashcards. Over on uh, craft, that, what you do, that's where you do it. It's where you um, do a toggle. So let's go to flashcards. I can answer the question and say what I want to, or I can press the letter S. And um, it shows me what the answer was. X and right from a shift click on a bullet point. And if something I'd forgotten, then I can click on this one here. I can use a letter F on the keyboard. Um, I can use a letter T if it uh, took a while for me to recall it. Or I can say that I remembered, I can press the enter key. Got this nice little system here where you can use it for learning stuff by using like an Anki system. View craft templates. Now these templates here are templates which have been provided by Craft. Um, so for instance you've got employee handbook, you've got personal strategy review, all sort of uh, corporate sort of things here. Students in there, friends and family and documentation, stuff like that. So that's kind of good. And then you can um, make your own templates as well. Let's create a custom template. So that's my template, movies watched. So we're going to hit the forward slash and then choose templates and insert a new template. And now I can start putting the details in here from the movie. So that's kind of cool. So what I can do with these ones selected here is to pull this out from the side here and I can decorate it with a focus or with a block. So the focus puts a bar along the side of it like that. And if I have it as a block, it colors all of it into one color. You can change the color if you want to. And I'll change all of it to a different colour. So you've got uh, everything in purple there now. Let's go over to LogSeq here. So for instance, if I want to do some moving around with this stuff here, I can take that there and drag it and drop it into wherever I want it. And I can take this one here and put it up into there. So you can do all the sort of moving stuff around um, with this system, the same as you can do with Craft. Okay, so there we go. We've got the two applications side by side. And they do similar sort of things, do it in different ways. And of the two, I'm still conflicted. I like Craft because it just looks lovely and it does the job that I wanted to do. Um, I like LogSeq because it's uh, extra geeky and it does more stuff. The thing against LogSeq is that it doesn't have synchronization yet, but uh, the synchronization is important to me. That's why I tend to use Craft more than LogSeq at the moment. So that was a quick, good and geeky jump around into various parts of the two applications, LogSeq and Craft. And I'm still conflicted. I don't know which one I like the best. I like LogSeq because it's good and geeky, extra geeky than Craft. It doesn't look quite so nice, but at the same time, it has more features. It shows YouTube videos better. It does a better job of showing PDFs in there where you can see what's in there and make notes alongside it. It is in active development. It's got loads of... Um, super user followers that are uh, really keen on making uh, it better and you can say the same of craft as well because they're doing that but it's 
it's uh, got templates and I don't know it's it's hard to make my mind up between the two of them and for, probably for the most part now I'll use the both of them although I'll have to decide where I'm going to put what and maybe put some coding stuff into LogSeq because in the LogSeq I get the uh, numbered lines of code in there and then I'll put other sort of um, information that I want to store about various other bits and pieces into Craft. I'll have to think about it and see which way it goes. In the comments below, why don't you put in which one you use and why you prefer it. And don't forget also to like and subscribe if you haven't done also already. Bye bye now. Talk to you again soon.